This is a fan perspective of Leaves Eyes Myths of Fate, a brand new album from Leaves Eyes. And this is my introduction album to this band. Never listened to them before. And yeah, honestly, I like doing that a whole lot better because, well, I don't have the prior knowledge of what the band is uh, supposed to sound like. So I don't have the I don't have the bias. I don't have the bias that most fans will have with, yeah. But now I'm a fan, so now I'll say it's a fan perspective. But um, Myths of Fate is the ninth album from symphonic metal band Leaves Eyes, which, like I mentioned before, didn't listen to before this. So yeah, I love it. I love it when it's an introduction album. Should have listened to them before because I was recommended by a, some people on the channel before. <laughs> check out Leaves Eyes, but I never did, um, because, yeah, there's just so many, so many bands out there that I just can't check out all, but finally did. Myths of Fate has everything I dig as a fan of symphonic metal, while giving a higher artistry on top of doing the norm for the genre. They do a lot of, the, it's, it's symphonic metal. You basically, if you know it, it sounds like symphonic metal, and yeah, but the one thing that stands out from like the one thing that I say stands out from this band is the harsh vocals. Um, unique sound that is different from other bands out there, especially with the duration and tone of the harsh vocals. The harsh vocals are just fucking awesome. And just the duration of them all the, like through some of the songs are just, they stick around longer than what they would normally stick around with, with a symphonic band. And really, I honestly love some harsh vocals, and that really, that really got me with it. Um, the clean vocals are also magical. I love the clean vocals as well, um, especially, especially with the guitars behind them. As yeah, the clean vocals are driven quite heavily with the uh, uh, with the style riffing behind it. I love that as well. Um, everything fits together nicely to make a great album and experience. I definitely will listen to the other albums from this band. Why didn't I listen to this band beforehand? Why didn't, no, why didn't I listen to this band, like, well, well before this album? Like, I don't know. I should have. Um, standouts. I have five. Realm of Dark Waves, a fantastic song that reminds me why the symphonic genre is so good. The vocals are absolutely fantastic with how the song is structured and driven. Hammer of the Gods, the way the vocals go from clean to harsh going back and forth is classic for the symphonic and is executed wonderfully. The guitars really shine here as well as they drive the song and their tone matches perfectly. The guitar tone is being awesome. Um, Fear the Serpent, the start is wonderful and then it gets heavy with the guitar tone driving it while the drums stand out behind the riffs on the song mix with the vocals on top make good deliveries cannot help the headbang to this one it's one of those ones if if uh your head is not moving around when you're listening to it what the fuck are you doing honestly i like to say that quite often um it's like one of the cardinal rules of metal um one of the ones I heard from a lot of metalheads when I first got into the genre. If, if you're listening to something, a certain song, like if you're listening to Pantera or something, and your head's not moving, what the fuck are you doing? Um, Sons, a tree glove, probably pronounced that quite horribly, but yeah, I'm known for that. I'm known for that. Um, this was the big song in my opinion. This is the big song on this album, in my opinion. The riffs are fantastic, and they hit hard. Everything is grand from the start. The harsh vocals are prevalent all the way through the song, which that's what stands out the most about this one. And the riffs, the riffs are fucking awesome as well behind it. Oh, and the solo. Yeah, the guitar solo on this one's fucking awesome as well. Best song on the album, hands down, Sons of Tree Love. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Pro I actually think I did because I heard the pronunciation in the song, but... Um, Sail with, Sail with the Dead, great son, great send off song that holds back nothing. The song packs a punch and ends the album off with one of the best songs in the album. Honestly, I enjoyed this album quite heavily. I thought this album, I honestly thought this album was awesome, and 
I didn't. I don't know why the fuck I never checked out this band beforehand, but sometimes it happens like that where I just completely miss a band that's been around for like forever, honestly. And by listening to all the other bands around them and just never like checking a band out, that's what happened here. And again, this is another band that I'll be going into depth listening to but so hope everyone liked it and uh yeah i'll see everyone in the next video I was kind of tired when i did this video so if it sucks it sucks i'm but yeah um yeah peace